everyone, Vangels and Trinity back with another deck of you. Hope you're all doing well. I'm a little bit out of breath because I've been running around. Because I just picked up something from the mailbox. And that's what we're going to review right now. Although, I don't know what I'm actually going to do in review. But, I'm doing the intro right now. And it is the first deck I received in 2020. Incidentally, it's the first. The third edition. So, let's have a look at this. Alright, so here we have the first V3 from Chris Ramsey. And uh, it's got a palm tree look to it. It's again a matte stock. It says first of gold foil. And it wraps right around the sides and the top. And the bottom where it says first point guard top three by Chris Ramsey. And then the back. Kind of egotistical for him to, you know, say that he's the first. He's not. <laughs> if that's the idea. On the flap, there's no seal on the flap, it's just his logo. And then the artwork actually wraps onto the flaps, as you can see. And then the inside, it's a repeating uh, first logo in foil. Inside, you get a snake in foil, which is okay. <laughs> um, they, could he not just do a double back or something a little bit more useful? But I guess it's an ad card, but... And then there's the back, it's palm leaves, and first, again, in the corners in foil, like for Zutter decks. It's a pretty nice back design, I don't give him that much. And then you do get a uh, duplicate, four of spades. And then the jokers, joker in the corners, first in foil. At least it's nicer than the Fontaines, even though it's not that much more involved <laughs> in the Fontaine decks, I will say. Uh, the Ace of Spades, nice pip, made out of a, I guess a palm leaf or whatever they are. And first in gold foil. And then number cards. Fairly standard, recolored, kind of golds and grayish colors. And black. They are holding leaves on them. On some of them at least. So there's some modifications. Metallic inks would have actually been nice. Metallic gold inks, I, I think would have been great. I guess he splurged all the money on these foil jokers. <laughs> um, very nice though. I'm not trying to be negative or anything. It's a nice deck. I do like it. Everything else is fairly straightforward in terms of number cards. And in the backs. Very nice. Of course they handle great. Printed by USB-C. If I recall correctly. Was it? Actually? I don't even recall. <laughs> um... It would have to be USB-C. I mean, it's, yeah, it's definitely USB-C. It's USB-C court cards, what am I thinking? And this one actually has a reveal, a seven of diamonds. Just realized that. No four spade reveals, though. Anyways. <laughs> um, you'd think with the duplicate, there would be a reveal. But I guess not. Um... Good quality cards though, nice foil. Handles, you know, good as you would expect. And I'm going to say, what do I say for this one? I'll say an A. A, A minus. Pretty nice stats. I don't have any major complaints. And uh, that is that. Oops. Get my Y out of the way. Comment, rate, subscribe. We'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching.